Hey, we're going to prove that the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. To do that, I'll just show you what, we're, what I'm talking about. To do that, I'm going to take one quarter of a circle, where the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, r is the radius, and then I'm going to revolve that one quarter of a circle around the x-axis. That will give me a, a hemisphere, and then I'm going to multiply my answer by 2. Okay, so here we go. So like I said, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. If I solve for y, I'll get y equals plus and minus root r squared minus x squared. And since I only want the top part of the circle, one quarter of it, I'm just going to take the positive part. Okay, so now my integral will be pi from 0 to r, my radius, of r squared minus x squared. All squared, it's pi r squared and dx. This will translate to, simplify to just r squared minus x squared dx. That square root and squared will cancel. Now the integral of r squared, so now we'll have pi r squared. The integral of r squared, since this is just a constant, it's going to be r squared x minus, and then integral of x squared is one-third x cubed from 0 to r. All right, so now let's plug in uh, plug in r, so I get pi r cubed minus one third r cubed minus, plug in zero, and I just get zero. Okay? So then we get two thirds pi, and that will be the volume of the hemisphere, and don't remember, don't forget that we need to uh, then multiply our answer by 2 for the entire sphere, which is 4 thirds pi. So that's pretty cool. There's a formula that you've used probably since uh, early high school or late middle school, uh, but now you have enough math to, to do it.